All right, a quick video here. This is my Sansa Shaker MP3 player. And I've had it for probably about 12 years. And uh, there's uh, I've had an issue with it. There's a couple leaf switches there for the track changer. And what happened, this is a drawing here that I made. It's got two leaf switches here and here. Well, the one over here broke off. So what I did is I took some of these tack switches right there and put wires on them and very carefully soldered them, soldered them to the board here and there. It was very tough. I actually broke the tab off of this one, but it was still connected, so it worked. A little bit of Gorilla Glue later. Oh, Gorilla glue, and it was, and it worked. And I just ran them up here, drilled two holes because these are only two, two pin, tack switches, and ran the wires through there, soldered into the switches, and then I hot glued them, and it works perfectly. That's the track changing switches. The volume is fine. And, um, yeah, headphone jack there, headphone jack there, plus it's got a speaker. Battery door and a USB right there. It's a USB and a little memory card. It's a uh, little one gig one. One gig. And they got a Energizer lithium battery. These things are awesome. And we will fire it up in a minute. Okay, so this it's working. Volume works. This track is just something I ripped from a real audio file back in the 90s. And this is the track changer. And then if you hold this button, I'll just pause it. And I'll, you gotta hold this button. It does that, but it's paused. But I don't want to go to, to a different song, but what you, what you do is you play it. You hold this button, and then you shake it. And it randomly picks a track. I'm only playing this tricorders clip for copyright reasons. So yeah, that's my repair that I've done to my Sansa shaker. And yes, it is it is faded. This thing is like 12 years old. So yeah, I got it working. So I got it working. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.